Hello everyone. Today we will see how to design VB application which is having MDI that is multiple document interface with the child fonts. Okay. So here we are going to uh, create the menu having the items certain menus and let us see how exactly we are going to use the common dialog box control for changing the font for color and back color of the text box. So let us start. So this is what the ID is. I'm going to select the standard EXE and click on open. Okay. So here I don't, as I have told you, we are going to use the MDI form and this is the normal form. Okay. So now to take or to get the MDI form, you have to go to project and choose here the add MDI form. This is the option. You click on this and here you have to select open. Okay, once you have done, so this is the MDI form what I am going to use. So this will be the actual multiple document interface which is going to have different menus with it. Okay, so let us start. This, uh, this is the MDI form. Now to create the menu over here, you have to write, I mean you have to remember certain points like go to tools and select menu editor. If you don't want to go to tools, then the shortcut for opening the menu editor window is by pressing Ctrl E. So I'm selecting this one. So this is the menu editor window wherein I have to give the different menus what I wanted. Okay, so first menu I wanted is MNU child one. Okay, so I for uh, uh, easy understanding I am keeping the caption and name same so I here also I'll write MNU child 1 okay so here as I have created I'll go for the next the next menu will be MNU child 2 Okay, so the reason why I am keeping caption and name uh, same, it is because while writing the code, there will not be any confusion. Okay, so uh, this is the reason why I am keeping caption and name same. So after creating two menus, I'll click on the next button so that I can create the third menu, which is nothing but the show font or I'll write menu font, MNU font. Okay. So here also MNU stands for menu and then next again here I will go for the next menu called MNU for color. The same thing you can write it in the name also. If you want you can change the name as well as the caption also but the thing is while writing the code you should remember what exactly is the caption as well as the name. Okay. So this is the reason why to avoid the confusion I am writing the same name for the caption as well as the name. And one more uh, one that is MNU back color. And the last one is exit. Okay, so these are the six menus what I have created after uh, finishing with this one then you have to uh, you can just go for the OK button. Okay, so this is the uh, menu as you can see here. These are the different menus available. Okay, let me show you at the runtime how exactly it looks like. Okay, so I wanted the MDI window at the runtime so i'll take the startup object as mdi okay now i'll show you see here this is what your menu is whenever you are clicking on that particular menu uh, whatever coding you will write the same functionality is going to happen okay so let us continue so the first one uh, the code i'm writing for menu child one Okay, as we know, MDI is the multiple document interface which is acting as a container in which I can keep many child forms. 
okay so i'll double click on this one and here in the code window i'm going to write the child as form one dot show okay so what i'm exactly doing here is i'm making this form one as the child form okay so simply by writing the code doesn't make form one as the child form but what exactly you have to do is select on the form one okay this is the form one so here i'll just take one label for our understanding purpose i'll write here child one okay i'm sorry i'll just take it okay now when the form is selected form one is selected go to the property windows and check for mdi child you have to make this property as true okay before setting this one true one thing i i just request you to observe here now in the project explorer you can see the icon for form one is uh, like this okay so now when i'm making it as true you can check now it has become a, a little bit small okay indicating that now it is a child form okay similarly i will take one more form i'll just go to the pro project and add form i'll do what okay this is the form 2 which is my uh, second child so i'll just write it here child 2 okay so and uh, similarly you have to do here mdi child property as true i need to select the entire form mdi child is equals to true okay so now here in my mdi form totally i have two child forms okay so the work of this form 1 and form 2 is done so i'll close that one so coming back to the mdi form okay so in this the third one what is the thing is the third menu is menu font okay so menu font let us write the code for this one but uh, when we write the code here we are going to use one more uh, uh, one more tool called common dialog box okay so that common dialog box tool is not available here in the toolbox so what i'll do is i'll go to the project and click on the components okay go to the project and click on the components now here in the component window you have to choose for microsoft common dialog control 6.0 you select this option click on apply and press close okay so you have to only thing what you have to draw drag sorry the only thing what you have to do is drag this common dialog tool onto your phone okay now the main important thing about this common dialog box is that uh, at the run time it is not visible okay so if you want you keep the name of this common dialog box as common dialog one only i'll just make it as short name i'll keep it as c dialog one so that it will be easy for me while writing the code okay let me show you at the run time as i've told you this is not the sorry the common dialog box will not be visible please do check this one now here you can see there is no common dialog box visible this is same as that of timer okay so let us start with the coding double click now here in the menu font i'm writing c dialog c dialog 1 is the name of my uh, common dialog box and here i'm taking flags equals to ampersand h3 h3 is the type of font i am going to use here okay then c dialog 1 dot show font when i am writing this li line c dialog 1 dot show font that means i am requesting the common dialog box to show the font dialog box available with it okay so then the next line comes in the form of text okay txt font okay so here when i am taking text font that means i should have one text box here onto the mdi form now if i try to take the text box directly onto the form it is not possible because this is multiple document interface or mdi form okay so if you want to take the text box the simple thing what you have to do is first take the picture box onto the mdi okay and 
on this picture box you are allowed to take the text box okay so this is the text box over here uh, the only thing what i'll do is i'll clear the text box uh, yes here it is you just clear it let us go back to the coding here so i'll write the name of my text box is text1 so i'll write text1 text1 dot font name okay so here i can decide the uh, whatever font name is available with the common dialog box so i'll write c dialog1 c dialog1 dot font name so what happens with this particular uh, line of code is that i'm going to choose the font name available with the common dialog box with my text box okay similarly you can go for text1 dot font size as you are able to change the font name you are able to change the font size also or select the font size from the common dialog box that's why i'm writing c dialog 1 dot font size okay so similarly you can go for the font uh, font bold font italic also that i am skipping i don't want to use that one here okay so this is more than enough for my font okay now coming for the four color okay coding for the four color will goes like this c dialog one dot show color this particular line called uh, c dialog one dot show color that means we are requesting the common dialog box to display all the colors available with it okay that means it is going to show the color palette okay and with that color palette i am going to take text one dot four color that means i am uh, going to change the four color of my text by using this common dialog box color so i'll write here c dialog one dot color okay so similarly i have to write the code for the menu back color also okay so here i'll write c dialog one dot show colors that means again we are requesting the dialog box common dialog box to show the color palette and from the color palette i'm saying text one dot back color that means the background color of the text box can be changed by fetching any one of the color from the common dialog box okay so this is the coding now there is one more code remaining i'll just do it it is the simplest of all the codes only thing what you have to do is you you have to write unload me unload me is more than enough yes okay now let us see this is what about the coding as well as the design part is now let us see about the execution okay so let me click on the execution button so now here you can see uh, this is what our output window is right so when i click on the mdi child one you are able to see that the form one is being displayed now as i have told you when we were discussing about the concept of multiple document interface i have told you that the child window the child form cannot be dragged okay because mdi is acting as a container i'll show you if i wanted to drag this form outside the mdi check here if i wanted to drag it is not allowing me to drag it outside the frame of the mdi okay similarly you can when you are clicking on menu child 2 it is going to display the menu child 2 i don't know what happened let me check it okay sorry i have not written the code only form 2 dot show okay so let us do it now see here the same thing if you wanted to drag this child window out of the mdi container you are not allowed okay then let us see the third menu called menu font okay for changing the fonts let me type some text in the text box so here i'll type visual basic okay so now when i wanted to change the font of this particular text i have to just click on this menu font menu so now here you can see the common dialog box window is going to show you the font dialog box from where you are allowed to 
choose the font name whatever font you want the font style and the font size okay whatever type of font size font style and uh, the the different font you want you can choose it okay that is font size you are able to choose the whether the what type of font you want whether you want bold italic so on and what type of font you want like whether you wanted times roman or calibri or anything okay so this is about the font menu now let us see how to change the four color of this text by using four color menu you just click on this four color menu which is going to show you the color palette now this is the color palette so you can choose any of the color so that you are able to change the four color of the text now here i have changed it i hope you have uh, observed what i have done so now let me change the background color of the text box also okay that can be simply done by clicking on the uh, menu called back color click on this back color menu again we are going getting the color palette any background color you can choose i'm going to choose something dark as my four color is light so i'll just click on it now you can see the background color has been changed this is not looking good so i'll change for something else uh -huh, no uh, okay fine yeah this is better okay so like this uh, today we have seen how to design the mdi form how to take the how to design the menus okay and how to create the child forms hope you have understood it the, yes there is one more menu called exit when you click on this one it is coming out of the application okay so hope uh, all of you have understood the concept of mdi form thank you